Don't forget, tickets are on sale and they already moving Saturday the 23rd, two Saturdays from now. Uh-huh. At the Bowie Center for Performing Arts. It's going down. Y'all gonna have a great time if you come fuck with your boy. And don't forget to sign up for the ShareZo app. It is a new way for comedians to monetize uh, their content. And we've got, listen, uh, on ShareZo, uh, we've got a special. There's a special already up from uh, Lil Duval. That's right. A Lil Duval special is already uh, 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 a Lil Duval special has been posted. And you can go on Sherzo and watch a whole uh, Living My Best Life. It's the Living My Best Life special by Lil Duval. But let me ask y'all, should I, this is a real question. Good morning, Beth. Should I live stream this Joe Claire and Friends comedy show? Y'all see this Joe Claire banging and Bowie comedy show. Should I live stream it on Sherzo? What do y'all think? Huh? Would y'all pay to see a live stream of Bangin' and Bowie? The show would be live. You will be able to see it at your house. You know what I mean? And the ticket price wouldn't cost as much as if you came and saw it live. Well, first of all, Tammy, you better come to the show since you live in Bowie. Richard said, nah, he don't like it. Richard ain't paying for the live stream. Tanisha is. Um, Will Johnson, uh, this is a plot. Will Johnson, this is like a uh, fan base. Sherzo is like fan base, but it's specifically for comedians. Specific, it's only comedy. You feel me? So, wow, I love, I, 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 um, I belong to fan base. Um, you know, this is specifically for um, comedians. You feel what I'm saying? This is specifically for comedians. So, um, but yeah, who's coming? Oh, T. Robinson. Is that, I know that is not my homegirl, Teresa. Teresa, that's you? Is that you? Anyway, Bangin' and Bowie's going down April 23rd. Um, and I, you know, I'm thinking about live streaming that show as well. Uh, yeah, we got a nice venue, a reasonable ticket price. Oh, okay, T, my bad. I went to high school and in, in junior high school and uh, 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 college with a girl named Teresa Robinson. Anyway, we got live music. We've got, um, you know, drinks and, and food. It's going to be funny. I'm going shopping. I'm going to give me a new outfit. You understand? I might even put my diamond back in my ear. Ladies, should I, should I put my earring back in my ear? <laughs> well, Chris, here's the thing, Chris. I'm glad you said that, Chris. Tell Netflix to stop playing. Netflix is running their game. And I cannot, I'm never, I'm one of these people, Chris, I'm never mad at the game. I'm never mad at the player, and I don't get mad at the game. I just learn how to play the game my way. Netflix is cutting checks for comedians and cornering the market. And one of the problems that comedians are having with Netflix is that if you're not a high, 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 high-end comedian, you're going to get pennies, right? And if you're not a high, 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 high-profile comedian, uh, you know, you got to make your own way. So Sherzo, Sherzo allows us to make our own way. You feel what I'm saying? Sherzo allows us to do our thing our way and go ahead and monetize right now. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, while I applaud all the comedians who make it to Netflix, Sharezo is a new platform that I think is going to be, be be big and huge, could be huge in the comedy space, in the urban comedy space, in the black comedy space for those comedians. Like the, you see everybody that's on this show right here. 
Alex Scott, Alex Scott, Ashima Franklin, and Timmy Hall, right? All of them very, 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 very talented, extremely funny, right? Knockdown, drag out funny. But their profiles aren't as big. They might have for whatever reason. So, all right, Tara Reed, done got your tickets. Thanks to everybody who done purchased your tickets already. Because we're going to have a good damn time. We're going to have a good damn time. You hear me? So, um, for those comedians, like the, the ones that are on my show, who y'all may, may have not heard of before, you may not have seen before, shares though is a way for them to get on out here and fly. Fly, they can fly right next to everybody else. And, and uh, uh, you know, just like internet comedians, what they call internet comedians came along and showed the world how you can use the algorithm for your benefit, Sharezo allows black comedians to do that as well. You feel what I mean? So, Sharezo it is for me. Sharezo is going to be for my live shows and everything else. And that's what it's going to be. All right. Uh, somebody asked me a question. Hey, Tara, Tracy. Uh, Joe, what advice would you give up and coming comedians? I get this question all the time. Um, my nephew is in Tampa trying to hone his craft doing stand up and comedy club. All right. Here's the first. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you, Jermaine. Um, now nah, I don't know Steezo. So listen, Tracy Taylor, here's the first thing I would say. What up, Destiny? Thanks for coming over to my YouTube page. Shout out to everybody uh, who's fucking with my YouTube channel. Um, here's the advice I have for anyone considering becoming stand, doing a stand, being a stand-up. First and foremost, be funny. And remember that funny is the key to live stand-up comedy. Now, funny is not necessarily the key to, to the internet. Now, the internet requires you to be consistent. You don't always have to be the funniest thing on the internet. You just have to be consistent and engaging, right? That's how it is on the internet. But for live stand-up, for what I come from, first and foremost, you got to be funny. Funny, you got to be funny. You hear me? You got to be funny. If you if he's touching that 